today we'll be testing the GTX 1650 Super in Witcher 3. We've got this paired with a 12400F Intel CPU, which is a 6-core 12-thread CPU, and uh, we've got a DDR4 3200MHz CL16 memory, and we've got an Asus Tough Gaming D4 B660 motherboard. That's the specs that uh, matter. And uh, right now we are just outside of the Baron's Castle in uh, Velen. And what we want to do is we want to test at multiple resolutions. We're going to be testing at 1080p, 1440p and 4K as well as testing multiple presets. At the moment we're at uh, 1080p and we are on the low preset. We are not using any FSR at the moment, no upscaling. You can see that dynamic resolution scaling is disabled. And uh, the rest of the settings are as follows. We manually disabled motion blur because it's pointless. And then also NVIDIA Hairworks is not turned on. The rest of the settings are as per preset and uh, let's get right to it. All right, so we just reset our numbers here and uh, we are just going to run around a little bit just across this bridge here and into the woods and uh, let's see what this card can do. As you can see, we are at the moment still above uh, 60 frames per second at all times, which is actually pretty good. I mean, this is a, a very budget entry level card. It's got four gigs of VRAM, which is a little bit low, uh, considering that it competes with the 1060 6 gig and the RX 580, depending on which games you play. Still playing on uh, 1080p at medium settings, which this card is uh, most likely designed to do. Uh, you should not have any issues with uh, running out of VRAM. As you can see, it, it probably won't be an issue because currently we have been allocated 2.5 gigs of VRAM for this game. Now that's uh, VRAM allocated and not VRAM usage. So I would uh, guess our actual VRAM usage is probably between 1.8 and uh, 2 gigabytes. We are also seeing very, very little uh, stuttering going on here. You can see that from the frame time graph. It's actually very consistent, uh, very smooth and flat, which uh, is definitely what you want. Also, just to note that Witcher 3 is a very slow paced um, action RPG adventure game and uh, anything above 60 frames per second is actually perfect for this game. I would even say that uh, 30 frames per second is uh, okay for a game of this type, especially if you are playing with a controller because uh, with a controller the input latency is a lot less noticeable. All right, but there we have it for our low preset. We've got an average of uh, 78 frames per second, 1% lows of 62 frames per second and 0.1% lows of 53. Now let's see the medium preset. All right, we are now on the medium preset and our performance did not really decrease uh, that much. We lost uh, maybe 10% uh, over here. I mean, we had about 80 frames per second. Now I've got about 70 frames per second. I'm just going to run a little bit faster and run into the village. Uh, running around uh, might increase the stuttering a little bit because uh, objects in the distance need to load in a little bit quicker than when you are just uh, walking. But so far, it seems okay. We did see one or two... Uh, a big stutters there that's why our 0.1% uh, lows are sitting at 13 at the moment so that's a good indication whether your game is stuttering or not and in this case we did experience a few stutters but uh, i'm just going to run around a little bit again and uh, see if that evens out it should uh, if we don't experience any more stutters but uh, let's see what happens so apart from those two big stutters in the beginning, I haven't uh, actually experienced any other uh, stuttering going on. And uh, yeah, you can see that uh, after our run, our frame rate average is sitting at 72 frames per second. Our 1% lows are sitting at 55 and our 0.1% lows are sitting at 16. Now that's definitely not ideal. But uh, as I said, after the first few initial uh, bumps, we actually did not experience any other stutters. So that's uh, pretty good. All right, let's try the high preset. All right, well now on the high preset and uh, our frame rate once again, decreased by maybe five to 10% at most, which is, which is definitely pretty good. I mean, we are still getting above uh, 60 frames per second and uh, running in the village here, you can see that uh, those uh, initial stutters from the previous run, they didn't seem to uh, recur. So that's pretty good. And uh, over here, even looking out over the water or falling into the water, we are still maintaining our 60 frames per second. I did say drop down to 59. Uh, that's definitely not the end of the world. 
So running around here in the forest with all the foliage, you can see that it does drop below 60 frames per second. But once again, we are so close to that uh, 60 frames per second uh, mark that it's not really going to make a difference. And uh, I'm playing with the controller, so I'm not even uh, feeling the frame rate reduction from 66 to 55. And as I said uh, previously, that sometimes even 30 frames per second can be acceptable in a game like The Witcher 3. Right, but uh, we've completed our, our run here. Now you can see that we've got an average of uh, 60 frames per second. Our frame rate 1% lows are sitting at 53 and our 0.1% lows are sitting at 47. I'm not sure uh, how this game would uh, fare with the Ultra Plus preset, but uh, obviously we need to give it a go. Right, and uh, here we are on the Ultra preset. And you can see that uh, for the first time we aren't hitting 60 frames per second. Uh, moving around in the village here seems to be a little bit more intensive. We are seeing 52, 53 frames per second here. And uh, once again, you can definitely still play this game at uh, this frame rate quite comfortably. But uh, when your performance hit is that much and the graphic fidelity increase is uh, not that much, I mean, going from high to ultra, you'll notice it if you stand still and admire the scenery, but otherwise running around doing quests, I mean, you're on horseback most of the time, you probably won't notice that. But uh, this is still a very good uh, experience. I can definitely see the the wooden planks here. The textures seem to be a little bit uh, more detailed. The foliage is definitely a little bit more dense and the game definitely looks good. It looked pretty good even on the low preset, but yeah, you can see moving further into the woods here, we are dropping into the mid forties. So I would not uh, recommend to play on the ultra preset. 1080p medium or even higher would definitely be more suited to this graphics card. All right, so at the end of that run, we've got an average of 52 frames per second. Our 1% lows are sitting at 43 and our 0 0.1 percent lows are sitting at 40. Now the Ultra Plus is not a preset but we need to manually enable all the Ultra Plus settings but let's see how it goes. As you can see here it's on Ultra and you can just uh, bump it up to Ultra Plus by moving the slider manually. There's no preset for Ultra Plus. Not sure if our VRAM will become a limitation at these settings but let's see. All right I'm gonna restart the counters there and we are getting 40 frames per second here. I mean it uh, goes up and down a little bit. Uh, the fluctuation is a, is a little bit more noticeable now because uh, we are dropping to 40 frames per second uh, every now and again or more often than not actually. And once again, I'm not uh, just from this uh, very short run. If you don't stand still, you probably won't notice the difference between Ultra and Ultra Plus, except in the frame rate. Just to be clear, I'm not saying that there aren't any differences, but uh, to a player like me who just uh, plays the game for the story and the fighting, uh, I probably won't notice it. All right, so we've uh, done our circuit here, and uh, you can see that our average is sitting at 44 frames per second. Our 1% lows are sitting at 36, and 0.1% uh, lows are sitting at 33 frames per second. Now, that's actually very uh, proportionately spaced, which is, it's pretty good. I mean, that means that the gameplay was pretty consistent and pretty smooth. Now, I just want to enable FSR on the Ultra Plus uh, setting, and let's see if we can get that uh, magical 60 frames per second second all right we are back and uh, to actually hit 60 frames per second i had to enable fsr performance mode which uh, lowers the internal render resolution quite a lot you can actually see the the difference in the foliage the grass here moving around it becomes very uh, blurry there's a lot of uh, artifacting and uh, Geralt's hair is definitely a little bit of a mess but uh, I mean I wouldn't definitely advise against uh, playing like this because any uh, graphical fidelity increase that you get from playing on the ultra plus uh, preset or ultra plus settings uh, definitely you lose out on that once you enable FSR sure you do get uh, about 20 frames per second more but uh, the cost in visual quality is definitely not worth it so let's just try fsr quality let's see what the game looks like and what kind of frame rates we are looking at all right we are back with fsr quality and still you can see that uh, Geralt's hair is definitely not perfect uh, fast motion 
does cause some issues with the foliage, especially the, the grass that's uh, moving. And we are getting around 40 frames per second. So once again, you'd be much better off just playing on uh, native resolution on the medium or high preset. No need for you to, to enable ultra plus uh, settings unless you don't mind uh, playing at 30 frames per second and get a console-like experience. Uh, back when this game launched, I believe it was uh, 2015, I played it on the PS4 and it ran at uh, 30 frames per second and we didn't complain back then. So getting 30 frames per second now on a 1650 Super, we probably should not be complaining about that either. All right, so now I just want to see how high we can actually push this uh, frame rate. So I'm just going to enable the low preset and we are going to enable FSR and we're just going to leave it on uh, quality. Let's see what kind of frame rates we are looking at. It's resetting our numbers here and uh, now we are getting 100 plus FPS. Now, once again, this is in the DX12 version, so it is a little bit more intensive than the DX11 version. So to be getting 120 frames per second at times and uh, 102, 103 frames per second average for a 1650 Super, that's definitely pretty good. We are using upscaling tech though. It's uh, upscaling from 720p to 1080p when we are using the FSR quality mode. And you can see some shimmering, especially in the uh, the bridge here. Some of the wooden planks are, are shimmering quite a bit. Once again, I'd advise against using FSR, especially at uh, 1080p. Once you get to higher resolutions, the upscaling is not nearly as noticeable because the game has a lot more info to work off of and upscale from there so fsr at lower resolutions definitely not for me but as you can see this little gpu and it is a little gpu is doing very well getting 100 frames per second at uh, 1080p with fsr on the low preset but uh, that's enough of 1080p let's see how this does at 1440p all right we are back and we are now on uh, 1440p on the low preset and the performance hit is a little bit more than i expected we were getting about 80 frames per second on uh, 1080p low and now we are struggling to hit 60 frames per second at 1440p once again this is uh, definitely a gpu aimed at uh, 1080p medium gaming i'm not being critical about the gpu we are pushing it uh, beyond its intended limits but uh, as i said uh, previously if you if you do prefer graphical fidelity over performance witcher 3 is perfectly playable at uh, 30 frames per second and uh, if you've got a 1440p screen and uh, and if you've got a 1440p panel then uh, you can expect about 50 frames per second and you can see there from our performance metrics that our uh, averages and the one percent of the point one percent lows are actually pretty close together which is very good to see all right that's the end of our run here we've uh, got an average of 54 frames per second the one percent lows of 46 and the 0.1 percent lows are sitting at 41. All right, we're uh, on the 1440p medium preset now, and uh, we lost another five to 10 frames per second. So about uh, between 10 and 15% uh, performance loss. Running around here in the village, we are getting about 50 frames per second. This is not the most intensive uh, village. You'd get a lot less uh, frames per second or a lot lower frames per second once you go to Novigrad or one of the bigger cities. But uh, this is just to give you an idea of what the average performance would be like. So running around in the woods here, we are now dropping into the high 40s. And uh, once again, it's definitely still playable. I've got this connected to a 144Hz uh, G-Sync panel, so with the variable refresh rate definitely helps with the lower frame rate. It still feels a little bit faster than just the 48 frames per second, and the game definitely looks pretty good. All right, so that's the end of uh, the 1440p medium. We've got an average of uh, 49 frames per second, 1% lows of 42 and 0.1% lows of 38. Right, we are now on the high preset and uh, just by enabling the high preset, I actually saw a delay in uh, the textures rendering. So we might start to run out of uh, VRAM here. The VRAM allocation still seems to be below our uh, 
4 gigabyte limit, but uh, we might start seeing some uh, weirdness. The frame rate is definitely not bad considering what we are playing this on. The 1650 Super was definitely not intended to, to be playing at uh, such high settings, but I am pretty glad to see that you still can. Now, if we don't run out of VRAM with the Ultra Plus settings, we definitely will run out of VRAM on 4K. I know I said earlier that a player like me probably won't notice uh, the difference between high and uh, ultra or medium and high. Uh, I lied. I can actually see a lot more detail on this bridge here. There's a lot of dirt on the bridge here with uh, a lot of uh, decals that I did not see on the lower presets. So uh, I take back everything I said earlier. You can definitely still see a pretty big difference between a medium and high. All right, so I've run around uh, a little bit more than what I did in uh, my previous runs, just to get a little bit of a better experience of uh, gameplay at uh, the settings with these uh, frame rates. And I actually want to take back everything I said uh, previously in my video, 1440p on the high preset. It looks good. It plays well, maybe because I play with the controller, the input latency is uh, not noticeable to me. I definitely wouldn't mind playing this game at these settings with this system. The performance is very consistent. You can see there from our uh, performance metrics there, the numbers are very close together. Once again, uh, they are even more closely spaced than previously. So the gameplay experience was actually very consistent and very smooth. And uh, Having played this now for about uh, five to seven minutes, just uh, running around and uh, exploring the world. Uh, if I had a 1650 Super in my main gaming PC, I'd be playing this game at 1440p high, definitely. Right, let's see what we can do at Ultra. All right, we are now on the Ultra preset and I'm not going to say it, but uh, now I'm struggling to see the difference between high and uh, ultra preset. The vegetation, the foliage does seem to be a little bit more populated, but that's pretty much uh, the only thing that I can notice just by glancing over the scene while I'm running. Our performance dropped a little bit. You can see that it's uh, it's going up and down it's uh, 41 at one point and then it's uh, 28 so it's uh, definitely quite a big delta between our minimum and our maximum frame rates that might be a little bit uh, immersion breaking you you will definitely notice that i mean if you drop 10 frames per second going from 110 frames per second to 100 frames per second you won't notice it but dropping from 40 frames per second to 30 frames per second you definitely will but we are seeing the frame rate stay above uh, 30 most of the time i'm not sure it will stay above 30 when you get to the more populated uh, cities but you spend very little time in those cities anyway. And this is pretty much the kind of performance that you can expect for the majority of your gameplay. But you can see uh, moving into the woods here, the frame rate does uh, drop a little bit. Now there's uh, a little bit of a fog and some mist. It's uh, a little bit more intensive. And uh, if it does drop below 30 it's it's definitely noticeable uh, even on a controller i can feel that the movement is not as fluid so i'll be sticking to my previous assessment uh, 1440p high seems to be the best bet if you've got a 1440p panel all right last uh, test we're going to do at 1440p is uh, enable ultra plus all right now we are playing on the ultra plus preset and you can see we are getting a, a very cinematic experience here we are getting about 24 25 frames per second uh, the stuttering seems to have increased quite a bit which might indicate that we are getting close to our uh, vram limitation there so i've run around for a bit our 0.1 percent low number did not uh, change and uh, our average is sitting at uh, 28 frames per second and our 1% lows are sitting at 23 frames per second. Now, once again, uh, Ultra Plus might be a bit of a stretch for this uh, GPU. Uh, I personally would not uh, play at uh, these settings. It falls just a little bit short to what I would call an acceptable uh, gaming experience, even for a game like uh, The Witcher. Even if we did see an almost uh, 30 frames per second average, it's just the inconsistency that's a little bit of a, an issue for me. You might 
come to a lesser intensive area and the frame rate might be a little bit higher and then you get back into the wilderness and you are stuck again with 24 frames per second you can see there then that our 0.1 percent low number finally evened out so these numbers are pretty closely spaced together once again and i must say that uh even though we did not get our 30 frames per second uh, average with this GPU, I'm very impressed that it can actually play this game at these frame rates at 1440p ultra plus now just note that we have not enabled nvidia hair works and the reason is that personally the performance hit is just not worth it to me the same as with ray tracing in most games all right so there we have it we've got an average of 28 frames per second our one percent lows are sitting at 22 frames per second and our 0.1 percent lows are sitting at 21 frames per second now let's see if we can actually get this game to run at 4k but before we do that let's just see what we can do at uh, 1440p low with fsr enabled for this we are going to start off on the quality preset and uh, now we're playing at 1440p on the low preset with fsr set to quality and now you can see we are getting an above uh, 60 frames per second uh, experience here but i personally wouldn't play uh, this game with uh, fsr it uh, I mean it definitely still looks good but uh, native still looks better and uh, as I said getting 50-55 frames per second at native resolution to me is a little bit better than getting uh, 60 plus FPS using upscaling but that's just my personal uh, choice my personal opinion if you prefer to get an above 60 frames per second experience then you can definitely enable fsr and you can see that we are getting above 60 frames per second uh, pretty much uh, all the time and the game still looks pretty good all right now it's time to go to 4k we are back and we are now on uh, 4k on the medium preset and uh, we are getting even more of a cinematic experience than uh, previously we are getting an average of 24 frames per second the game is definitely feeling a lot uh, worse than it did uh, previously even though we only dropped like uh, six frames per second the frame time pacing increased quite a bit and that's definitely noticeable the 0.1 percent lows are sitting at eight frames per second currently but just have a look at the frame time graph there uh, it seems that some frames are being skipped it can't be detected by uh, msi afterburner I'm not sure why that uh, big dip would happen usually you see a big spike but uh, it's the first time i've actually seen those uh, big dips and it happened quite a few times now so that might indicate a skipped frame or maybe uh, msi afterburner just uh, could not capture at that point maybe because we are running out of resources at uh, these uh, settings it is commendable that this game can actually run at 4k above uh, 20 frames per second on a 1650 super 4 gig graphics card i wouldn't call this a playable experience though but uh, at least we are getting 20 frames per second yeah i'm not going to be tasting uh, many presets at 4k because i definitely believe you should not be playing this game at 4k with uh, this uh, gpu but i just want to see how far we can actually push the vram i don't know if you saw that uh, actually if we if we turn pretty quickly it seems like some of the the textures take a, a long while to to load in and uh, that definitely indicates that we are starting to run out of a vram i don't think we are fully there yet but uh, i suspect that uh, upping the quality preset will definitely get us closer so i'm going to enable the ultra plus preset once again sorry there's no ultra plus preset i'm going to enable the ultra preset and then just set everything to ultra plus afterwards okay we've enabled the ultra plus uh, settings and i'm having trouble uh, just uh, moving around we are getting uh, 12 frames per second let's just reset the numbers here moving into the woods i mean it's not just the, the frame rate that uh, slows down it seems like the the whole game is uh, is slowing down you can have a look at the frame time graph there it's taking about 100 milliseconds to render a single frame that's uh, definitely not ideal um, 
I mean, once again, this is purely just for tasting. We should not be playing this game at uh, these settings. Uh, we are dropping down to five frames per second, and you can see there our VRAM allocation is now sitting above uh, four gig, and uh, I think. I think we are out of VRAM and now it's reverting to system memory and uh, system memory is a lot slower than a VRAM. You can see that it does recover a little bit. We are back into the teens, but some uh, some areas we are dropping to five. Um, I don't know. Definitely uh, should be avoiding these settings at uh, all costs, but it was quite interesting to see what the performance was like at uh, 4k all right i'm just going to go back to the uh, 4k low preset and let's see if fsr can actually save us a little bit all right so for this i'm going to use a little bit more of a, an aggressive uh, fsr preset uh, let's let's see ultra performance um i mean once again should not be playing this I'd rather just play at a lower resolution and let's just reset the numbers here uh, you can see that we are getting uh, pretty decent uh, frame rates once again. Uh, maybe it's just because it it's now four times faster than the previous setting. It just uh, feels blazingly fast. We are getting 50 frames per second, uh, give or take. It, it does look okay because uh, now the internal resolution is, is a little bit higher than uh, when upscaling from... Uh, or upscaling to 1080p or 1440p we are now upscaling to 4k so that means that the internal resolution is a little bit higher right but uh, it's still not uh, perfect i do know that sometimes when you play at uh, 1080p on 1440p or 4k monitors so meaning you play at a lower resolution than what the native uh, monitor resolution is it seems a little bit blurry i experienced that on my uh, 1440p monitor when i play at 1080p everything looks a little bit uh, blurry a little bit fuzzy uh, it's not ideal so if uh, that's the case with you if you've got a 4k monitor and you want to play this game Game, you can definitely still play it but you just need to enable FSR maybe FSR ultra performance is not needed but let's see if we can get above 30 frames per second at 4k by maybe using just the balanced preset all right we are now on uh, FSR balanced and we are getting that uh, 30 frames per second the game definitely looks a lot better than at uh, ultra performance though it definitely did not look terrible on ultra performance i must give credit to amd for the fsr technology um it's not as good as uh, dlss but it definitely gets more brownie points because it works on all GPUs and not just the latest AMD GPUs. So you can see even in the village we are getting above uh, 30 frames per second. And uh, once again this is perfectly acceptable for a game like The Witcher. The game looks good. We are playing at uh, 4K. Well, I mean it's not really 4K if you have to use upscaling. And I must say apart from the occasional blurriness in the grass the moving grass the game looks perfectly fine all right this has been a longer video than uh, i actually intended i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one